Hello lads, I am yet again checking in from a beautiful autumn nature and today I want to talk a bit about coffee and how to go off it without experiencing excruciating headaches. So what I did was I drank coffee during the summer and then I thought I'd have a month without coffee to reset my receptors in the brain and um, I did that a month ago and how I went off without headaches is the following. So the first step is to figure out roughly how much coffee you are drinking each day. So my starting amount was three scoops for my morning cup and then two scoops for my afternoon cup. So that is the starting position, my starting amount and then day one on my gradual decrease I only had one morning coffee using three scoops. Day two I had one morning coffee using two scoops. Day three, two scoops again. Day four, only one scoop. So quite a drastic decrease from the initial starting amount. Day five, same thing there, one scoop. And then day six, a black tea. And then after that, you should be fine to not drink anything at all in the morning. So the main point is to gradually decrease the intake of caffeine. So the last thing you want to do, and this is the main point of this video, you can actually close the video after I say this, but the main point is do not go off completely from one day to the next. Make sure to have a gradual decrease of your caffeine intake, otherwise you will have you know, your brain will be not be in the least prepared for what is going on. But if you gradually decrease, it will not be as severe. However, you will have some days where you are a bit more sluggish. But for me, I prefer that to the headaches you can have if you go off um, completely from one day to the next. So that is how you can go off coffee, have a week, gradually decrease your amount of uh, caffeine. Now also, since we are on the topic of coffee can ask ourselves should you drink coffee and my philosophy is the following for example in the summer or in the spring or early autumn if it's you know a nice morning sun you sit in the sun with a good book and a cup of coffee preferably bulletproof coffee that is a um, a true pleasure of life that I personally would not want to be without. So again, I went off for a month because it's good to go off coffee every once in a while to reset your brain and to feel that you know you have control over your um, intake and I suggest that you can do it every once in a while, every once a year maybe if you are if you are a regular coffee drinker. And I continue to drink it now because I want to have my bulletproof coffee in the morning. It's such an such a pleasure of life. I made against kitchen I made against kitchen video on that particular recipe. You can check it out in the description box below. So you have to ask yourself, do you drink coffee as a pleasure you look forward to? Do you savor every drop of the coffee or do you view coffee as something as an instrument you necessarily have to drink to function? If you're a student perhaps and you have to buy two or three coffees in the school cafeteria each day, yeah, might not be financially responsible to do. Or perhaps you don't enjoy coffee at all. You don't like the taste, you don't like the hassle of having to make a coffee, you don't like anything about it. Yeah, then it might be better to just completely quit. You don't have to drink coffee. You can, you can drink coffee if you enjoy the process of making it, you enjoy the ritual, you enjoy the social interaction that comes with it but you shouldn't drink coffee as as oxygen you know you have oxygen you breathe otherwise you you don't survive and you shouldn't view coffee as uh, such a thing either so that is at least my perspective you can try to go off and uh, and do try the method of um, gradually decreasing the amount of caffeine and uh, if you do I wish you all the best and I hope you won't experience the horrible headaches. Now on a completely different note here in regards to the companies if you are a customer of Jotunheim Nutrition in Sweden there might be a few delays over the next couple of weeks we are restructuring the logistics of it all so it will be faster and a bit cheaper in uh, the coming time so uh, long-term goal for me same thing for Legio Gloria there might be 
a few delays, just a few days extra for the orders to be processed, but eventually we're restructuring the logistics here as well, so it will be faster and uh, cheaper for you, the customer, in uh, the long run. The orders from jotunheimnutrition.de, so the German and European page, they are going out as usual. So yeah, that was just a small little update. And for all American true friends, you can follow me on Jotunheim Nutrition's Instagram page below for information on uh, when you can partake in some glorious supplements from the motherland. So anyway, that's all for me now, and I will continue to enjoy this fine weather. Thanks for watching. XOXO. Boom. Did it? 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 Did it?